keep going. You can do it. Got the arms. And we press it up and take it down. Back to single knees. Hup. Breathe out and in. You've got it. Big stretch. Three. Welcome to the Buns of Steel Circuit Training Workout. I'm Lisa Hart. Thank you for joining me. Get ready for the ultimate in step aerobics and muscular conditioning. This workout is perfect for you exercise enthusiasts who are looking to add a little sizzle to your exercise routine. Aerobic exercise and muscular conditioning are key elements in fat loss. So in this routine, we'll combine the aerobic and the toning exercises to give you that tight, lean body you deserve. Now, as with any exercise routine, always go at your own pace, drink plenty of water, and pay close attention to these safety cues. As you step up onto the bench, make sure that that heel does go entirely onto the bench, never hanging off the edge. We keep those knees slightly bent, not locking at the joint. As you lift up onto the bench, step up heel-toe and exit toe-heel with those feet fairly close to the bench. Contract your abdomen inward to support your lower back. And as you lift up, lift up with an upward motion, keeping the chin and chest lifted. Avoid any bouncing, jerking motions through the toe and heel. Your calves will not thank you for that. Now, when we go down to get our strap, keep your head above your heart. And when we are using the strap, keep the joints soft. For instance, never locking at the elbows. Keep them slightly bent. Now, as for your wrist, keep the palm in alignment with your forearm. No breakage there at the joint. Now you have everything you need to get you started. Your band, bench, and with a positive attitude, you can accomplish anything. Let's get your muscles warmed up. Start out by marching with your right foot. Let's march and take it. March. Inhale up for me, high energy, big stretch. Exhale, take it down. Every exercise routine should start out with a warm up. Inhale and take it down. Let's add a little variation to our march, and it's one, two, three, and tap. Have a little fun with it. We're gonna have a good time giving you that lean body. Looking good. Let's do eight more like this. Here's one. Keep it going. Tap it up. Get into it. Last four. Then we'll be step touching to this side of your bench. Two. And one, take it side. Good. Lifting the arms up. Keep it here. Abdomen still contracted inward to support your lower back. And keep it there. Next, we'll be walking forward four and backing it up. Give me eight more right here. There's one. Press it out. Toe and heel. Looks good. Four. Three. Two. Left foot forward walks it up. Let's go. And walk, two, three, and tap. We'll do this one more time. Then we step tap to the other side of the bench. Step tap, step it over. Way over here, good. Tapping through the toe and heel. Let's do eight more. There's eight. Doing great so far. Next we'll be walking forward, four, four, three, two, Right foot, let's walk, walk. Have fun with it, you're looking great. Last time, now keep it right here. Take a foot up onto the bench. Keep the spine in alignment, abdomen contracted inward. Your weight is in your heels. Take it down, slow, and lift it up. Let's take the arms back and give me eight slow. Let's go, take it eight. Control it, you've got it. Doing good. Regulate your breathing. Last four and three. Big stretch. Two on one. We'll simply step up onto our bench and turn it. Taking the heel off the edge of the bench, stretching your calf. Keep your knee slightly bent for me and take your left arm across. Feeling a stretch behind your shoulder blade. Now we'll go eight, down for two, and up for two. Let's go. Down for two, and up, stretch into it, down, for two, and lift it. Keep going, you've got it. Feel the stretch in the calf. 
And last four, here we go. For four, three, you've got it. Last two, and one more. And gently take that leg back. Keep your hips facing me. Keep this knee slightly bent. And as we go forward, we'll go down for two, flattening out your back. And as we come back, we'll round it and flex that foot. Let's go for eight. Here we go. There's one. Flatten it out. Round it in. Feeling the stretch in the hamstring, the back of your thigh. Keep going. You're doing fantastic. And round it. Control it. Last four. Keep it going. Control the press. And let's do two more right here. Two. And one. Take it down. Take it gently back. Now we're going to stretch your thigh. That's your quadricep. Now if you need to hold on to something for balance, do so. Take that leg gently back. Bend the supporting knee for balance. Keep this knee pointed towards the floor. Hold that stretch. Looking good. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. Then we'll step up onto your bench and we'll just turn it and do this stretch to the other side. Step up. Turn it around. You're doing great. Hang this heel off the edge. Keep that knee slightly bent and take the little right arm across. Feel a stretch behind the shoulder blades. Let's go for eight. Down for two. Up for two. It's eight. Lift the stretch. Take it down. You're doing fantastic. Keep it going. Feel the stretch through the calf. Still contract your abdomen in to support your lower back. Feel that stretch. Last four. Lift it up tall. Three. Almost there. And two. Give me one more. And down. Take this leg back. Keep those hips in alignment. Bend this knee. And take it back. Down for two, up for two. Let's do eight. And let's go. Down for two. Round up for two. Flatten out the back. Bend it in. Round it. Good. Press it up. Feel the stretch in that thigh, back of the hamstring. Good. Last. Four. And three. You're doing great. Last. Two. And one. Hold that stretch. Take the leg back, stretching the other thigh. And remember, you can hold on for support if you need to. Bend that knee. Keep this knee pointed down towards the floor. Hold that stretch. We're almost there and release it. Take a deep breath, inhale up, reach it, big stretch, and exhale, take it down. Step up onto your bench, march turn facing me, take a deep breath, inhale up, and breathe it out. Now we are ready to go on to our Buns of Steel circuit training workout. You're all warmed up, ready to start your first aerobic conditioning segment. Now let's place the band underneath the bench. We'll use it later in the strength conditioning segment. And make sure that your bench is secure on top of your platforms. Round it up. We'll start out by step tapping on your bench with your right foot. In four, three, two, step tap. Let's go. Step tap. Remembering all your safety points. Abdomen contracted inward to support that lower back. Heel toe, toe heel. Heel toe, toe heel. Knee slightly bent. Lift upward. Chin and chest lifted. Now. Let's add some arms. Your arms go out and down. Strong controlled movements. Let's do eight more. Here's eight. Keep it lifted. We're gonna have fun. Keep it going. Last four. Three. On two, we'll step back towards the side of the bench. Take it back. Here we go. Step back. Right here. From here, we'll be doing a basic step up with your right foot. Heel toe, toe heel. Let's basic right foot. Up, up, and down, down. Control the movement. Give me eight more with arms. Inhale and exhale. Regulate your breathing. Doing great. Last four. Next, we'll be going two on your right, two on your left. Last one. Two on the right. Here's one. Switch it, two on your left. Keep it going. Let's do eight more like this. 
Starting on your right. Here's eight. One. Switch it. Tap it each time you switch. Last time right here, singles right and left. You've got it. Now we're at a basic alternate. The lead foot switches each time. Keep going. We'll add a little variation to this basic alternate. It's an A step. We'll be forming the letter A. When we step up, up, we exit the side. Up, up, exit the side. Keep going right here. Now try that A. Up, up, exit this side. Up, up, exit this side. Keep going. If you need to, place your hands on your hips and just try the step. You've got it. Let's do eight more right here. Here's one. Exit. Bring the arms out a little bit further. Looking good. Keep it going. Last four. Three, abdomen in for two. Stay here, step tap, please. If you ever feel overexerted or lightheaded, step down onto the floor, walk it out. Grab some water if you need to. Let's go. Bring this step tap out to the side. You're doing great. Go back into those step tap arms and we'll go for eight. Let's go. Here's eight. And down. Keep it lifted. Bend those knees, please. You are doing great. Four, three, then we'll be taking it over the top, stepping in the center. Last one, let's go. Step in the center. Easy arms, just roll with it. Let's just push and pull over the top. Doing great. And let's do eight more. Here's one and two. Lift it up, control. Last four, three, keep it going please. Two, step tap right here, step it tap. Into those arms one more time for eight, seven, six, last four. You're doing great. Two, give me one over the top, stay there. Step tap, stay here, step tap. And bring it to the back of the bench. Now we're ready to do the A step back here, starting with the basic on your left foot. Basic, basic. Arms, eight times basic right here, one. Next we'll be going into the twos on each side. Keep it going, last four, three, Two, one more right here. Now give me two on your right. Switch it, right up. Switch it. Eight more please, here's eight. Switch. Four. Two. Last one, then singles. Here we're at the basic alternate. Doing great, almost ready to go into that A step. Give me eight more right here. Here's eight, and seven, six. Keep it going. Four, three, two, let's do that A. Up, up, exit right here. You've got it, arms out. Let's do eight more. Here's eight, seven, come on, we're almost done, six. Energy, last four, three, two, one stay here, step tap. Let's bring it down to the floor. You've done a great job, we're ready to move on to our strength conditioning segment. Keep the chin up as you lower yourself down to get your band. Make sure your bench is firm onto the platform. Let's step up onto the bench. Grab hold of that band. We'll be taking it behind the rib cage. Place it gently there. Slide your hands out just a bit. The closer your hands are to you, the more resistance you'll have. Let's stop off one side. The first group of muscles we'll be working is your pectoralis, your chest. Now, press it out and take it back. Exhale as you take it out, exhale and inhale. Keep going, 
Let's do eight more right here. Here's eight, seven, keep going. Contract as you take it forward. Exhale and inhale. Last four, three, two, and one. We take it to the other side. And here we go. Now if you want to, you can squat just a little bit. Let's do eight. Press it. Exhale and inhale. Contract, you're doing great. And last, four, three, feel the contraction. Two, on one, we go up onto the bench. And cross the band in front of you. Slide your hands down to the buckle. The next muscle group we'll be working are your triceps, the upper part of the back of the arm. Now, keep the elbows in towards you. Let's take one foot back. Lean that body weight slightly forward and take it. Push the forearm back. Forearm. Eight more, please. Here's eight. Seven. Control it. Exhale and inhale. Breathe it out. Last. Four. Three. Two. On one, stay back for me. Pulse it here. Pulse. Pulse. Looking good. Last. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release it. Take that band out from around you. And we're stepping up off of the bench. And come down to a seated position. Now the next muscle group we'll be working is your upper back. That's your latissimus dorsi. Take the band, place it onto your shoelaces, wrap it around underneath your feet, and then we cross it and take it between your feet. Now place your hands inside the loop of the band. We're sitting up nice and tall, contracting the abdomen inward. Let's take the feet out just a bit. Toes point slightly downward so the band does not fly up in your face. Elbows stay slightly bent, palms are facing me and we pull it back, so we pull and round it. Now as you take it back, it's as if you were squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Eight more, please. Here's eight. Exhale and inhale. Breathe it back. You're doing great. Last four, three, two. Hold it back on one and pulse it. Pulse it. Squeeze, abdomen in tight. Two and one, and release it. Take the band gently off of your feet, and carefully roll yourself up, one vertebrae at a time. Take it over to the side. Now this band is gonna be going underneath your bench. Pull it out from the other side. Again, make sure that the bench is firm onto the platform. Hands inside the loops. I think I've got it. And step up onto the bench. Now let's take one foot off of the end into a slight lunge, your palms are facing me, and next is bicep curls, the front of your arm. Contract the abdomen inward, and we lift up for eight. It's eight. Now if you want to, you can incorporate a lunge to the back if you're feeling energetic. Last, four, three, looks good, two, one step up, we switch legs, just in case you were doing that lunge, and eight here please, here's eight. Remember, you can do the arms only if you feel like it. Keep it going, pump it up, regulate your breathing. Last four, three, you've got it, come on. Two, last one please, and one. Release it, step up onto the bench. Now we'll be crossing, switching hands, hold on to that band. Think I've got it. This one's kind of difficult to do. A little hand off. Now the next muscle group we'll be working is your shoulders, the trapezius muscles. Keep those knees slightly bent, knuckles facing me. And we pull, release, pull, release. You've got it, eight more please. Here's eight. Keep it going. Now if you're feeling energetic, squat into it. Last four, three, two, pulse it up for eight, here's eight. Last five, six, seven, and eight. Release it down. Doing great so far. Gently switch hands again. Place the th hands inside the band, inside that loop. Keep your knees slightly bent for me. Now the last muscle group we work are your shoulders, the deltoids, the top of the arm. Now keep those elbows bent. Bring it to this position for me. And we take it out to the side, down other side. Out to the side 
Down other side. Let's do eight more. Keep going. Here's one. Two. Keep going. Exhale and inhale. Breathe it out. Last. Four. Control it. Three. Come on. You've got it. Two. And one. Take it up. Slowly release it. Bend yourself down. Knees stay slightly bent. Take it off of the bench. Now we've got to make sure that we store this band under the bench, out of our way, before we go on to our second aerobic conditioning segment. We start out by basic step on the bench with your right foot. And up, up, and down, down. Easy arms, pump it out. Heel toe, toe heel, abdomen contracted inward. Lift upward. Check your feet placement from time to time. No heels hanging off the edge. You've got it. Eight more, please. Pump it. Pump it up. Looks good. Knees stay slightly bent. Energy doing great. Last four. Three. Give me two more, then we'll go up onto the bench and march with your right foot. Let's march. March it. You've got it. Small steps. The next step I'll teach you is a straddle down step. We'll do it slow and then we'll speed it up. Your feet go off the sides and then back up onto the bench. And march it out eight more times right here. Here's eight. Getting ready to go slow into that straddle. Four, three, two, right leg down, let's go. Down, down, and lift it up tall. Now you can make this move a little bit more advanced if you sit back further into it. Let's do one time slow and pick up the pace. Here we go. Down, down, and lift it up. Looking good. Now here's your arms. Take it up, up, and down, down. Got it? Looks good. Let's do eight more. Here's one, two, three. Keep going. You can do it. Got the arms. Last three. Two, one. Now keep it here, hands at the waist. Next we'll add a little variation by lifting up your left knee. Keep it going smooth and let's try it. Lift your left knee, down, down, switch, other knee. You've got it. Have fun with it. Now if you feel lightheaded or overexerted, step it out. These steps can be done on the floor. Grab some water if you need to. Looking good. And let's do eight more. Here's one. Lift it. There's two. Pump it out with the arms. Last four. Three. Two. Now we'll be adding a variation. Keep it right here. We'll be doing three quick knees. It's called a repeater. Three quick knees. Then we go down, down, and switch it to the other side. We'll start it out slow, and then we'll speed it up. Starting on this side, it's lift, down, lift, one more, and switch sides. Lift, down, lift, one more. Now let's speed it up. One, two, other side, keep going. Pump it up. You've got it. Keep trying it. Let's do eight more. Here's eight. Pump it, other side, doing great. Just tap that foot behind, check your foot placement from time to time. Keep going with me. Looking good. Down, down, four. Almost there, three. And two, one more. Last one. And back to single knees. Arms extending. Lean into it a little bit if you want. Looking good. Last time. Now, end it over here and step touch. Right here, step touch. Pump it. Doing great. The next step I'll show you is a leg extension behind. And the object of this step is not how high you can take your leg. It's the contraction through your glutes, your buns. So we take it, lift, and step. Again, contracting through the abdomen to support that lower back. 
The foot is just lifting up slightly off the floor. You've got it. Let's do eight more. Here's one and two. Lift it, pull, pump the arms. Last four, three, come on, two. Step, tap, please. Step and tap, pump it. Now we'll just go over the top and back. When we do that, we step together in the center and then exit the side. Give me four more step taps up and then we'll go right into that over the top. Last four, three, two, one. Here we go, take it over. Together, together, side. You've got it. Keep it going. Now, arms come across, over, and out. Looks good, reach it up. Give me eight more. Here's eight, seven, six. Keep going, check your foot placement, abdomen in. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it over once more. Step touch right here, step and tap. Give me that leg extension behind eight times, then we're finished. Extend it. Arms pump. Abdomen contracted inward. Almost there. Last four. Three. Two. Step tap, please. Let's go up onto the bench. March it out. Inhale up. You've done a great job in your second aerobic conditioning segment. Inhale up again, and exhale, take it down. Step off of your bench, keep your head above your heart as you lower yourself down, and grab your band. Make sure that the bench is placed firmly onto the platforms. Step up with one foot, now we'll adjust our band, take it behind you again, and this time, way up onto the upper back. Slide the hands out gently, and this time the foot is close to the bench, and we're working the chest again, a little bit differently this time. This is called a fly. We take it forward and contract and back. And forward, contract, and take it back. You've got it. Exhale as you take it forward. Now, if you want to, incorporate a slight squat. Just like that. And give me eight more. Eight. Here we go. Contract. Release. Contract. Release. Exhale. And inhale. Breathe out and in, last four, three, then we'll be taking it to the other side, two, and one, other side, take it up, slowly switch sides, weight is in your heel, foot close to the bench, abdomen contracted inward, eight more this side please, eight, pump it, seven, inhale and exhale, keep going, press, last four, you've got it, three, two, and one, take it slowly up onto the bench. Keep your knees slightly bent for me. Next muscle group is tricep, the back of the upper part of the arm. Slide the fingers down just a little bit and we take both hands carefully back, grip the hands and we'll be taking the elbows towards the ceiling and lifting the forearm up and take it down. Exhale and inhale. Strong motion and give me eight more. And here we go, there's one. Two, contract it. Exhale as you take it up. Press it. Last, four, three, two. You've got it, one more. And one, release it, take it down. Take the band out from behind you. We step with both feet onto the floor. Keep those knees slightly bent. Your weight is in your heels and spine is in alignment. Abdomen in. Grab onto that band. We'll be working your back again, your upper back, your latissimus dorsi. This is a lat pull down. We keep the band and elbows just behind the ears, leaning the body weight slightly forward. Don't lock the elbows, keep them slightly bent. Right arm's gonna stay up, and the left elbow is going to pull behind. Give me eight, just like that, one side only. And here we go. It's eight, lift it up, seven. Abdomen contracted inward. Exhale and inhale, last four, four, three, two, one, switch sides, eight, you've got it, seven, keep going, pull it, exhale, 
and inhale. Come on, four, three, two, last one. Release it, stretch it forward, walk it back, and band goes under the bench, ready to do our set of bicep curls. Carefully lift it up, bring it down under, make sure that band, that bench is securely down. Fingers through the loops, and one foot on the bench, one foot back, lunging if you'd like. Now this time with the bicep curls, we're gonna take the palms outward just slightly, and we lift it up and down. Give me eight right here, lunge if you'd like, down and lift. Exhale, strong pull, contract the muscle as you lift, squeeze it, and four more, three more, you've got it, last two, and one. Now as you step up to switch, take it carefully down, and eight more this side. Ready? Let's go. Pump it, and lunge if you'd like, down, and lift. Remember, you don't have to do the lunge if you're not up to it. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Take the band down. For this segment, we're gonna add a little bit of leg work. Show you how I can use this band for leg work. Now, hands are still in the loops. Step out onto the band, about hips distance apart. And what we'll be doing is a squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift. Now, if you need to do one leg at a time and hold onto a chair for balance, feel free to do so. Doing great. And give me eight more. Here we go. One, two, you've got it. Working your adductor. Good. Three, two, and one. Release it. And now, working the inner thigh, take one foot, the arch of it, and place it onto the band, and we press it forward and back. Again, if you need to hold down to a chair for balance, feel free to do so. Press it, exhale, and inhale. Now give me eight more right here, then we'll switch. Eight, seven, looks good. Six, push it, hold on for balance if you need to. Four, three, you've got it. Two, one more, let's switch legs. You're doing great. Hold on for balance if you need to. Place the arch of the foot there. And let's do eight right here, then we're done. Let's go. Eight, seven, contract it. Bend your supporting leg for balance. Last, four, three, come on, two, and one, release it. Fantastic job, you made it through your second strength training portion. Let's take that band back under the bench. And we are ready for our final aerobic conditioning segment. We start out by step tapping on your bench with your right foot in four, three, two, step tap, step tap. Abdomen inward, heel toe, toe heel. Let's do eight more, pump it eight, seven, you've got it. Check your foot placement from time to time. Make sure your heel is completely on the bench. Four. Next, we'll add a little variation. Be lifting a knee, and the leg goes out. Last touch, knee lift. Knee, kick it out. Try the legs first, then we'll add some arms. Knee lift, kick it out. Here are your arms. Bow and arrow, down. Kick it, knee. Kick it out, let's do eight more. Here's one, two, come on, three. Lift it out. Three, last, two. Step touch, step it out. You've got it. Next we'll be adding a step kick right here and then we'll change it into a Charleston. Kick it out as if you were pushing a box with the arch of the foot and we can get a little inner thigh work. You've got it. And here are the arms for this. Press it down. Little tricep press. Push it. Let's do eight more right here. Here's eight. Come on, seven. You've got it, six. Keep it going, push that box forward. Four, three, 
Two. Here's your variation. Kick it forward, touch the toe back. Kick it forward, touch back. Now, as you take it back, that toe just taps behind. We don't lean forward. We just lower our body weight down. Add a little more arms. Push, pump. Let's do eight more right here. Here's eight. Seven, looking good. Six. Come on, control. You can make it. Last four. Three, two. Step touch, please, right here. Step and touch. You're doing great. Take a deep breath, inhale up. If you feel overexerted, take a break, walk it out on the floor. Grab some water. And eight more right here, pump it. There's seven. Six looking good. We're getting ready to take it over to the other side. Last four. We'll be taking it over with an over the top, stepping in the center. Last one, walk it over. Keep going. Pump it. Arms coming out. Breast out. Good. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. And give me eight more. Here's one. Keep going, two. Strong arms. If you need to, take the hands to the waist. Four, three, two, last one. Blend it over here, step touching. Step tap it right here, pump it. Looking good. Going right into those knee kick alternates. We'll do eight of them. Here's your first knee. Knee. Kick it out. Knee. Kick it out. Keep going. One more, please. Step tap. Pump it. Looking good. Getting ready to push kick forward. Almost there. Push kick eight times for me. Here we go. Push. Tricep. Push it. Looking great. Almost there. Four. Three. Two. Go into your Charleston. And step it. Touch. Put a little arm into it. Have some fun. Let's do eight more. Control it. Keep the chin lifted. Last four. Three. Two. One more. You've got it. And step tap. Pump it. You've made it. We're going to slow things down just a little bit. Inhale up. Exhale. Take it down. In again. And slow steps. Up. Touch. And down. Touch. Up. Touch and down. And touch. Stay up on your bench. Let's take one heel off of the end. Press down into it. Slowing things down. You've done a great job. We're almost ready to move on to the abdominal section of our workout. Switch it. Easy stretches. And step one foot off of the bench. Let's just go down and hold this stretch. Stretching behind the thigh. Hold that stretch. And round it. Let's switch legs. Take it down, hold the stretch, and rounding up. March it out right behind your bench. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. You've made it through all of the aerobic conditioning segments, both strength conditioning segments. Breathe it out, and we are ready to move on to our abdominal workout. Now we're ready for our abdominal work. If you'll notice, I've placed my bench now from side to side, and I've taken one of the risers and placed it here, creating an angle. I like to place a towel on my bench to give a little comfort to my lower back. Let's roll ourselves slowly down to the end of the bench, lower yourself down one elbow at a time. And adjust yourself to a comfortable position on your bench. Make sure that your head is supported. Let's take those arms back and hold on firmly to the bench. We'll lift one leg up at a time, crossing at your ankles, let the knees fall to the side. Now we'll be doing a reverse curl, and when we do so, we're only lifting up about an inch off of the bench. Exhaling as you lift, and let's do eight reverse curls. Ready, lift up, exhale, and inhale. Very small movement, avoid swinging, just press up in through those knees. Last four, three, you've got it, Two, 
Hold it up on one and pulse it for me eight times. Eight, seven, six. Keep going, you can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take one foot slowly down, one at a time. Extend both legs. Let's give it a stretch before we go into our second set of those reverse curls. Stretch it and exhale, take it arm back. Lifting one leg at a time again. You ready? Reverse curls, eight times, let's go. Eight, control it, no swinging. Contract, exhale as you lift, last four, three, come on, you can do it. Keep going, stay with me, up and pulse it. Here we go, last eight, seven, you're doing great. Last four, three, two, and one. Roll it slowly down, extend one leg at a time. Let's take those arms up over the head, stretch it and release it and bring the legs in, roll yourself carefully up, seated on the edge of the bench, hands on your knees, and we'll round it up one vertebrae at a time. Take it down to this end of your bench, roll yourself carefully down, feet come up onto the bench, move your body close to the bench, roll it down one elbow at a time. And curve your legs towards me. Let's place one toe onto the floor, elbows come back, now we're working your obliques, those muscles that run along the sides of the rib cage. We'll do eight crunches up. Let's crunch. Exhale and inhale. Avoid tilting your neck back. Keep the chin in towards the chest. Breathe out. Last four. Three, you're doing great. Two, hold it up on one and pulse it eight times. Eight, seven, six, keep going. Contract. Three, two, eight crunches, let's go. Down, there's one. Two, you're doing fantastic. Keep going, last four. Three, two, pulse it up for eight. Here we go, eight. Last four, three, two, and one. Roll it slowly down and press the small of the back into the floor and let's extend those legs out over the bench. Stretch it. And take it back, small of the back pressed into the floor. Curve the legs towards the back. Place the toe behind you. Elbows come back again. Ready for those eight crunches up? Let's go. Exhale and inhale. Avoid tilting the neck back. Chin towards the chest. Keep going. Last four. Three, doing good. Two, stay up please and pulse. Press it, contract. Last five, six, seven, crunch it eight. Down, there's one. Inhale, exhale up, control. Keep it going. Here we go. Four, three, two. Hold it up, pulse eight, please. Pulse it. Almost there, four. Two, and one. Take it slowly back, you've done fantastic. Press the small of the back inwards towards the floor. Let's take those knees into the chest. Hug it tightly. Stretch out your lower back by lifting up your tailbone and press it in towards the floor. Once more. And release it. Let's place those feet up onto the bench. You've done a great job. Made it all the way through the program. Now we are ready for our cool down. Thank you for staying with me throughout the entire workout. You really did a great job. Let's cool down. Take down one elbow at a time. Lower yourself down to the floor. Extend both legs. Arms come up over the head. Take a deep breath, inhale up. Contract every single muscle in the body. And exhale, relax it. In again, inhale. Contract. And exhale. Let's take the arms out to the sides. Press the small of the back inwards towards the floor. Lift your left knee and tip it to the side. Feeling a stretch through your obliques along the sides of your rib cage that we worked so hard. And as we switch sides, press the small of the back inwards towards the floor and switch legs. Tip it towards me. Feel the stretch. You deserve this cool down. You worked very hard. Press the small of the back inwards toward the floor. Extend both legs again, arms come up, point those toes, inhale, 
stretch it and exhale release it in once more and exhale release it let's take the feet flat onto the floor hips width apart and hold behind one leg your hamstring bend that knee soft flex in the foot and as you inhale take the knee in towards the chest exhale press that heel towards the ceiling now let's pull the leg back gently holding that stretch never bouncing the stretch knee comes in again inhale and exhale press it up pull that leg gently back hold your stretch and slowly lower it down let's switch sides holding on behind that hamstring back of your thigh bend that knee soft flex in the foot and inhale pull the knee in towards the chest and exhale press the heel towards the ceiling feel the stretch in the back of the thigh pull it gently towards you hold it knee in again inhale and exhale press that heel up pull it gently back hold that stretch last time on this side and gently release it take it down and press it up press into your rib cage pull those knees in towards the chest pull it back hands behind the thighs again swing your legs gently forward as we roll it up swing your legs towards me come up to your feet place the hands on the knees and we round up keeping the hips low one vertebrae at a time round it up feet come about shoulder width apart keep those knees bent body weight slightly forward take a deep breath inhale up stretch it long and exhale take it down in again lift up and exhale take it down take one arm up place it on the ear gentle stretch through the neck lower this shoulder feeling the stretch and other side inhale let's exhale as we stretch it to the side lower that shoulder hold that stretch once more to each side every workout should end with a cool down press it head is tipped slightly forward never back once more to this side hold that gentle stretch feels good and inhale up again and exhale take it down a little stretch combination we take it up out down and press round it roll your shoulders from side to side inhale up lift it take it out and down now press round press into every vertebrae and shoulders side up again inhale lift it up exhale take it down hands come to the knees press into it round and shoulders last time lift it way up make it good and exhale take it out hands come to the knees press into it and round roll shoulders do your buns of steel circuit training workout on a regular basis and in no time you're gonna see a tighter leaner body keep up the good work